operated with pretty much open, brutal police state measures. They had a, pr a prison called Bautzen, B-A-U-Z-E-N. This was one of the worst in the world. Uh, terrible human rights abuses. But then along comes the CSCE process, right? The Helsinki Accords and Basket 4 or Basket 3 human rights uh, uh, questions. Now, they felt, uh, the East German uh, communist leadership felt that they were getting some benefits out of this, so they didn't want to put it in danger. So they said, let's figure out a new way to carry out these oppressive operations without having to sentence people to you know, 50 years in prison, without having to kill them, kidnap them, make them disappear. Let's do a kind of a low-intensity counterintelligence provocation on them so that we can prevent any human rights networks or any uh, considerable political opposition networks from coming into uh, existence. Now, there, there's a, a, a lot of material on this. Uh, we're going to try to get some of the people who have uh, published on this. But uh, their name for this is Zersetzung. Z-E-R-S-E-T-Z-U-N-G, Z-E-R-S-E-T-Z-U-N-G, meaning decomposition, um, some people say corrosion, really it's decomposition, or you can think of it as grinding down, grinding something into powder is also covered by Z-E-R-S-E-T-Z-U-N-G, right, uh, in, in, in the general uh, terms. And a lot of this comes from a memorandum that was written by this Erich Milke, the murderer. He was, he was jailed after the fall of the uh, communist dictatorship. Uh, Milke wrote this in January 1976. And the idea was, okay, we're going to have the Helsinki process. We're going to have the European Security Conference. We got to do something now to clean up our act so that we can actually destroy the opposition without laying a glove on them. And that's the idea. It's low intensity. Um, the names, let's just, we'll do the list of names and we'll, we'll give it another time, I hope, during the, uh, the broadcast. Uh, the, the, the names that have been given, once again, COINTELPRO 2.0, counterintelligence stalking, my favorite, uh, COINTELPRO stalking. Touchless torture, no touch torture, uh, psychological terrorism, uh, gang stalking. Uh, and the stress is always that compared to the assassin's bullet or getting hit on the head with a club or getting dragged off to the prison, it's more subtle. It's harder to prove. And that's sort of the idea. Back in a minute. Welcome back to our final segment, World Crisis Radio. Uh, I want to tell you more about Sezetsong, right, as the origin of the FBI. So the FBI is actively imitating the East German communist dictatorship. Isn't that interesting? Um, let me also point out, though, I've, I've asked you uh, if people contact you, if they tell you that uh, I'm not who I claim I am, that I've somehow somebody else has taken over my uh, my activities and my political line. You know how absurd that is. Uh, if you do get a call from some woman who says that I have been taken over by uh, some strange influence, uh, you should tell me about it. Right? We're still soliciting reports on these counter uh, organizing activities, this NAG network, this COINTELPRO. Uh, conjuries that has been uh, clearly mobilized uh, against the tax Wall Street Party, because that's simply what they do, right? They are there to oppose the existence of independent political forces outside of the two-party system that might challenge Wall Street hegemony. That's what it eventually comes down to. Um, let me also point out, right, if you're a sympathizer or an activist for the tax Wall Street Party, we are going to support you. In other words, um, the, one of the main purposes of this Zersetzung is to isolate people, right? To make them uh, lose their self-confidence. In other words, to inflict so many defeats on them. To say, if you apply for a job, you won't get the job. If you uh, apply to a college, you won't get in there. If you apply for anything, we'll make sure, the Stasi would say, and the FBI today, we'll make sure that it fails so that we'll have... Everything going wrong will slash your tires of your bicycle, 
of your car will make sure that everything in your life that can possibly go wrong will go wrong. And one of the German TV accounts, they give you um, the example of a woman who was actually driven into suicide, uh, although this took uh, quite a while. Um, they dig into your past. They get files. They threaten you. They blackmail you. It's all strictly illegal. It violates your right to freedom of association. It violates your right to a fair trial. It vi violates your right to due process under the 14th Amendment. Uh, but nevertheless, they, uh, they do it. If you fear uh, isolation, uh, the Tax Wall Street Party will not allow you to face this in uh, isolation. Right? We will uh, provide assistance within the limits of our capabilities. Uh, there will be no organizer left behind um, when they when they come up and do this. Um, the goals of the Stasi uh, were, of course, to drive people out of politics, to cause nervous breakdowns, to b bombard people with strange events. Again, uh, slash the back your bike tires, and the, the built-in catch-22 is, as one of these German uh, victims reported, if you go and tell your friends about this, even in communist East Germany, oh, they're going to think you're crazy. Small failures, small problems, small defeats, little things, applications, jobs, big things even. Um, and all of this done with complete plausible deniability on the part of the uh, persecuting uh, agencies. They're going to try to destroy your reputation with bad rumors. They're going to put it now on the Internet. Oh, my God. The Internet is, of course, a Venetian masked ball of uh, provocateurs and oligarchs who uh, get to say essentially whatever they want. The systematic discrediting uh, by true facts and by untrue facts. Now, we've known the CIA has a discrediting committee, which they have had. They didn't need to learn that from the, uh, the Stasi. They had it. Um, in those days, you would get crank calls. You would get defamatory letters. In particular, one of the Stasi favorites was accusations of adultery. Uh, they had Stasi operatives known as Romeos. And then, of course, the IMs, the Informella Mitarbeiter. This is not the gulag, but this is this relentless process of grinding people down to create a series of personal, professional, social failures to, to deprive the target of any uh, self-confidence, right? To make sure they're uh, rejected everywhere, to isolate, right? To make it impossible for people to continue, to create hallucinations, um, which can occur if this stuff is driven to uh, the extreme form, as this interesting uh, documentary points out. All right. So uh, don't face this uh, alone, right? Uh, and realize that you're not, you know, if you think these things are happening, um, this may be something uh, quite real. So we, we uh, talked last week about this uh, desperate housewife of the upper Midwest and her constant barrage of slanders and um, vilification and poisonous, toxic gossip. Uh, she has not ceased. Neither has she desisted. She has her head down a little bit, but she's still going strong. And in particular, this young misfit who hides behind uh, a dozen or so fake screen names, this sock puppet or multi-nick, uh, this guy is also uh, continuing um, slight change of uh, tactics. Now, one of the things you have to know is that this network has to do with the old red squads, the people who thought it was their job to suppress critical thinking and critical political activity. So uh, one of the, uh, the principal um, components of this, it's now under the FBI, the Department of Homeland Security. Sometimes it's the military intelligence agencies. Sometimes it's state agencies, local, county agencies. These are the Law Enforcement Intelligence Units, L-E-I-U, the Law Enforcement Intelligence Units. Last week, I talked about the New York City Red Squad, the, the Philadelphia Red Squad with Fencil the Pencil. Some of these guys are no longer there, but this is the, the idea. Uh, and there is a 
uh, significant uh, literature about it, which goes through this um, this thing. Right here, we have one one source. This organization of red squads forms a vast network of intelligence units that exchange dossiers and conduct investigations on a reciprocal basis. Several of the police departments belonging to the group have been caught in illegal wiretapping, burglary, black bag, right? Stasi, very big on black bag. Burglary, spying the private lives of ordinary citizens. The LEIU, the, the law... Enforcement intelligence units nationwide represent a huge private uh, domestic intelligence agency, public, private, uh, and in other words, the connections among them are all private and illegal. One example, uh, some years ago, the Los Angeles Police Department, uh, their corruption, uh, their bribery, and then their attempt to use this COINTELPRO stalking against people who were were uh, protesting. Um, Gloria Naylor, whatever we think of her, December 2005, National Book Award winner. She uh, penned a semi-autographical book describing the way that she had been targeted, apparently starting from the fact that she had gotten into a altercation with a neighbor who had a relative working for the National Security Agency. Uh, this also shows that this system is prone to abuse, right? Um, it really doesn't have central directives. It has a general orientation, but it can very easily uh, attack people who really don't have a political role, but are simply uh, doing uh, something that somebody uh, doesn't uh, like. So this stuff has been on the Daily Kos. It's been in the London Guardian. Uh, it's been all over the place. Um, this is, I think, it's more serious than than any of the alleged stuff coming from uh, somebody like Snowden. This is active. What Snowden tells you about is people are listening. Yeah, they're listening. That's only the first phase. They gather information and then use that to guide their attacks. We'll have plenty to say about this in the coming weeks. And uh, those who continue to carry out this stuff on us, watch out. Back next week on World Crisis Radio. <laughs>